How you doing, family? This is Jonathan Milton, your local indie filmmaker. Today we're talking about how to make a indie indie film for uh, on a micro budget. Okay, so what I mean by micro budget, I'm talking about under ten thousand dollars. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is write a script. You're going to write a script that has one or two, uh, at the most three locations, you know, but one main location. And you're going to keep the um, actors uh, to a minimum, uh, keep the characters to a minimum of maybe, you know, no more than five people. You know, uh, that's um, a good way to keep your uh, budget low. And so what you want to do is hire local up upcoming talent. So... Um, you will find um, local talent in your city that's like maybe in like acting classes you want to find people who um, are aspiring actors in your local town or city that you know are willing to um, do your film you know for food and credit or a or a, a low salary um, you know uh, 50 bucks a day you know um, hundred bucks a day or something like that, you know. Um, but you know, try to keep your uh, keep your uh, characters to a minimum of no more than five characters in your in your um, indie film. Uh, no more than three locations in your indie film. Uh, try to use um, locations that are free or very low cost. You know, so if you have a um, have um, a friend or a mother who owns a a grocery store or a friend or family who owns a mechanic shop or you or friend family who, who lets you use their um, house as a location that's you know um, you know uh, that's good you know you can use their um, um, property for free or very low cost and so and so basically um, okay so you've written your script um, you um, have your um, characters, your 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 actors that you um, um, hired from your local uh, talent pool uh, of your city or town. Okay, so um, your okay, so your crew. Who's going to shoot your film? Who's going to edit your film? If 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 I were you, I would find a um, a uh, aspiring videographer. You know, maybe at your local church, maybe at your local uh, film school. Uh, you know, um, or your local community college, that, or or even a um, photographer, you know, that's uh, willing to, you know, um, uh, willing to get their um, experience up in shooting a uh, a film, you know. So they ain't gonna charge you a lot of money to uh, shoot your film because they're because they're still learning. They don't know everything or whatever, so they're still learning and. You can, uh, you know, uh, grow with them, and so uh, that's what I would do if I were you, as far as making a, uh, you know, um, a very micro budget indie film. Uh, go to your uh, local community college, a film, uh, you know, community college or local film school or local church, um, and find a videographer that knows his way around a, a camera, or your local um, photographer around there that's aspiring you know and have them shoot your film uh some of them may, may know how to edit your film you know what i'm saying so get one of those uh, people to edit your film too from the, you know you know so you can so you can hire a a, 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 um, a shooter and an editor probably the same person at the local film school local church uh local um community college you know and so and so uh you can um uh get a uh, sound equipment for a uh, very cheap now, you know, um, technology, you know, you can, um, you, you know, you, you can find a, um, very affordable, uh, boom pole and like, you know, boom mic and sound recorder for, uh, for a very nice price, you know, or now or whatever, you know, so you don't have to spend a lot of money or you can, you know, uh, find someone who already has those things and like rent it out, you know, uh, you know, and, uh, and, um, rent it for them from him or even borrow it from him, you know. So um, 
what I'm telling you, you can do like what I'm telling you, you can make, you know, a, a film for five hundred dollars, thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You can, um, you know, ten thousand dollars, you know, you can make your but, you know, you, you can make an indie film, you know, a low budget film. That's what I've been doing. You know, um, um, all my films are no more than, you know, 15, you know, uh, grand, you know, um, but um Primarily, I try to keep my uh, budget, you know, as low as possible. Um, I've made, you know, uh, several films, um, the house guest, the, you know, the foreign exchange student, you know, uh, you know, using using other people's, uh, you know, property or whatever and doing the same thing I'm telling you, you know, you can do it. Okay, so basically you uh, you you hired your um, your, sh your shooter, your your editor you uh you you um got your friend or somebody who's aspiring to help out as far as um doing the sound uh f you know as far as like holding the a mic holding on your boom pole for your for your sound for your film or whatever so you get so you got like a two three four man crew right and you got your uh three four or five actors right and you know you and so you know you you uh you uh, wrote the um film and it's two or three locations and uh the uh script is you know um the script is you know 60 to 90 pages you know so you can so and, and so now you're planning now you're planning you you got your locations you know for uh free or uh almost free and uh so now you're um uh writing down the uh, shooting schedule uh, so okay, so like behind closed doors, we shot that for four weeks every weekend. So so it's an eight day shoot every Saturday and Sunday. Um, uh, we uh, shot for four weeks and made the movie. You know we we planned it out very well and we executed it very well. And uh, behind closed doors is one of my best movies. Like to this day. I get emails and DMs from uh, my, 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 my actors or people who I don't know saying that, you know, they uh, love that movie and it's getting a lot of attention. And I'm going to do a part two and part three of Behind Closed Doors because of that, you know. Uh, so if you um, write a good script, get good local actors in your uh, in your film and you execute it and you feed your actors and you, you know, and you uh, you uh, pay your actors whatever you pay them, um, you know, uh, just 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 be upfront, be honest, and you know um, you know just just uh, do good do good business. You know what I mean? You know uh, don't 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 lie to your crew, don't lie to your actors. Be be very honest and transparent and like what's going on. Uh, you know um, also. Um, to 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 make a good um, okay, so 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 um, you you uh, you uh, scheduled your um, your uh, movie you shot your movie you did everything uh, I'm telling you to do and now you're uh, finished and with you know in a week or two or three you're you're finished and now your now your uh, your uh, editor from film school is editing your film. And so also, so if I were you, I would uh, invest in this website called Storyblocks. Storyblocks, you can add sound, you can add music, and, and, and a lot of different things to your to your uh, movie. I would invest in uh, Storyblocks.com. That's what, that's what I use um, um, recently. So, um, so you had your uh, so you so so your uh, movie is done. Your movie is done now. And now you're ready to show it to your uh, your you know you know to to an audience. So uh, uh, what I have what I have you do is um, talk to your cast and crew really before you start shooting the movie. In the in the contract, you know, saying you would put it, hey, I need you to you know uh, you know sell five tickets or sell ten tickets, you know, uh, to the to the screening. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you want some type of uh, you know like 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 this is a business, so you want some type of uh, uh, of a profit you know 
from your uh, from your investment of paying you know for for all the stuff for your film, you know. So, um, you know, um, you know, talk to your crew, talk to your actors about you know um, marketing your film and ha having their friends and family come out because if you have if you have um, four actors in your film and they all bring five people, that's twenty people, and let's say you charge uh, you know uh, uh, charge. Um, Ten, you know, ten bucks come out. Was it was was that like two thousand dollars or something like that? If you, uh, you know, twenty people times times ten, you know, and like and and like, let's say you um have uh people that you you know your family and friends come out, but also while you're doing this, you're you're going to uh, be um, marketing your film as far as. On a, on this journey, you know what I'm saying. So when you finish your film and you want to do a do a screening or something like that, uh, all those people that saw your journey will probably want to support too and come out to see your finished product. So you're starting to build a a fan base, you know what I'm saying. And so, um, so they they come out and um, and um, you might have twenty, thirty, hundred people come out. My first movie I made. Was just like this, and, and like what I'm saying, and I and was a foreign exchange student, and I had over 300 people come out to my uh, to to my screening. The only thing I did wrong, I didn't print up any copies of the foreign exchange student as far as uh, as far as our DVDs until until afterwards. Uh, I wish I had done it, you know, um, day of the screening, so I would have copies to to sell of the movie too, you know, uh, you know. Um, also, when you uh, do your, uh, your your uh, your your movie, you might want to do a movie that people are interested in, you know. So do some research or whatever, but also do a movie that is passionate to you. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, uh, so you wrote your um, your feature film, you scheduled, you hired everybody, and you made your film. For a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, whatever. That's a good budget to make your money back. If you if you do the merch as far as merchandise sales, ticket sales, uh, DVD sales. Also, you can um, have people um, uh, put a commercial on the trailer. Before your uh, movie starts, you know, what I'm saying that's that's a good way to uh, to make money off that too. Uh, also, you can have people put product in 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 your feature film, and they and, and so they'll pay you for that too. So it's, so there's a lot of ways to make money on your feature film or your or your short film. I don't do, I don't really do short films. I mean, I did two short films when I first started to get my feet wet because uh, I didn't know what I was doing. But after my two short films that you can see on YouTube right now, it's, it's called um, uh, Do's and Don'ts of Dating and Snake in the Grass. Those two uh, short films is on YouTube right now. Um, also, yeah, so uh, you can make a lot of money, you know, doing, doing those little things I said as far as, uh, you know, um, product sales and ticket sales and people um, putting products in your uh, movie for a price. Uh, you know, um, people putting a product on on your trailers uh, in the beginning of the uh, uh, trailer before the movie starts for for a fee. You know, you can have people. You know, you can um, have, have have people uh, wear clothing of theirs in your film uh, for for, uh, for a fee. You know, so so, so different um, things that you can do uh, to make a little money. You know, in your feature film. Uh, yeah, so, um, you can, um, make, make a, um, but like try to make your, um, indie film as low as possible. Cause when you start spending money, it's like a river. It's just, it's going to keep on going. It's going to, it's, 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 it's like a flood, you know? Uh, so, so do what Robert, Robert Rodriguez said, you know, uh, you know, make your uh, movie, your indie film for as low as possible. So, so, uh, so these are the uh, ways that um, I uh, do my micro budget indie films, and you can do the same thing. If you want to see any uh, any 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 of uh, my other movies, uh, movies, go to uh, Tubi TV, 
uh, go to um, Amazon Prime, go to Fandango. Um, uh, you can see uh, the uh, foreign exchange student, the perfect wife, do's and don'ts of dating, uh, love and coffee, um, the house guest, you know, uh, three way. Um, and, you know, so I got movies, you know, uh, um, yeah, so you can go there and see, and see my films there. So until next time, guys, uh, peace.